So here's a friend of mine who is currently participating in UC's co-op program to talk about his experience. So Christian, the floor is yours. Co-op at the University of Cincinnati is a really good program that it lets you alternate between taking classes at the university and doing paid work in your field. So basically what this does is it lets you connect what you're learning in the classroom to really how you need to be applying it when you're going to be working later on in life. What this also does is help you build your resume. So when you're going to be graduating and trying to find a job and compete with people who've graduated from other universities, you don't need to worry about having a lack of experience in the field or anything like that. So you'll really have a leg up on the competition. Kristen, that information was very helpful. Thank you very much. Back to you, Justin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, last but certainly not least, why computer science? Everyone uses a computer to basically survive everyday life. That cell phone, GPS, calculator, messaging device, even that car you drive, whatever electronic device you interact with on a daily basis has a computer inside. I mean, computing is at the heart of all sciences, whether it's medical, chemical, physical, astrological, or even social, the world is running on computers. So, if you study the field of computer science, you'll not only gain the respect of universities, employers, friends, and family, you'll be invoking a major impact on the world as we know it. But why in the world study computer science here at the University of Cincinnati, the university with ranked programs and a rising reputation? Well, first off, we have the co-op program. As I mentioned before, where you can work for big companies like Apple, EMC, GE, Google, P&G, and Texas Instruments. We have a great curriculum. The pathway has pretty much been paved for you because UC follows the latest educational trends so you do not fall behind with the times. And did I mention we have an incredible graduate degree program? Especially if you participate in the Accelerated Engineering Degree or ASCEND program which allows you to earn both your bachelor's and master's degrees in just five years. We have an excellent faculty that is always, always willing to help. UC also has a rejuvenated campus. From modern classrooms and labs, to the recreation center, bookstore, movie theater, game room, and a wide variety of eateries, the university is nothing, nothing like it was before. We have a wonderful library system, complete with every type of resource you'll need to excel. And finally, we have an outstanding student service center. If you ever need help with paying bills, registering for classes, checking up on scholarships or financial aid, or any problem at all, the One Stop Student Service Center is your one stop for all student services. Okay, back to computer science. If you pursue the rigorous yet rewarding computer science curriculum, you'll find out that job opportunities are fast growing and high paid, so you will not be disappointed. To get a general idea of how satisfied you'll be, here's a report from the National Association of Colleges and Employers with the top average earned starting salaries of college graduates. There's computer science right there coming in at number six with a whopping $61,407 average starting salary. Something else is that society tends to stereotype computers being associated with men only, but this definitely is not the case. In fact, I have another close personal friend of mine, Kayla, who's joining us live from what looks like the Tangerman University Center. Sorry, had to look at the monitor for a second. Kayla, who's a woman in computer science, agreed to share some of her experiences with you. So Kayla, I know you've been waiting a long time. But tell the students out there, mainly the female crowd, what it's like being a woman in the male-dominated computer science program. Well, being a woman in computer science, honestly, it isn't any different than being in any other engineering or any other sort of field. Um, you're not true, I mean, at least in my experience, I haven't been treated differently. Um, and I have, I mean, I do have a lot of male friends, but honestly, it's no different. And I don't understand why more women don't want to get involved in the computer science field. Okay, thank you, Kayla. And oh, do we have any homework due for our computer class? That's a good question. <laughs> I guess you don't know. Huh, might want to ask Professor Schliff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks again, Kayla, and have a nice day. You too, Justin. 
Whoa, 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 looks like I'm running out of time. So, a couple more things. As a computer science major, you'll be able to create some pretty cool stuff, like the intro to this presentation, for example. A similar effect was used in an iPod Nano TV spot, which you guys probably don't remember. But after applying my knowledge of mathematics and physics, as well as some help from an online tutorial, I was able to produce that cool looking light streak there. Okay, we all know about Apple's iPhone and iPod Touch, correct? Well, as a computer science major, you can develop some pretty awesome apps. Like this app, for example, that lets you watch television wherever there's Wi-Fi, and a couple games, like this one, and this one. One last thing I'd like to mention is that a computer science student can undertake some pretty astonishing research projects. I know I did. Over the summer, I worked one-on-one -on -one with a professor in the department on a project that involved TV technology. The nature of my work involved visiting all the major TV stations here in Cincinnati and conducting interviews with the broadcast engineers at each station. It was really fun. I got to see behind the scenes, meet some of the news anchors, and even got to see the news live and in person. And at the end of the summer, I was required to present my research at the annual research symposium, which is held at the Ohio State University this year. So that's it. I've just covered the who, what, when, where, and why of computer science. But one thing I failed to cover is that many people think computer science majors are nerdy individuals that sit in one spot all day staring at a computer screen. This, however, is 100% false. I've mentioned this before to several people and I will say it again. Engineers, and that includes computer science majors, can have fun too. We're just like everyone else. We can have a life, be social, attend university functions. Uh, I'm in that crowd somewhere. Uh, right there, right there. That's me. <laughs> we can enjoy the city. And stay healthy. So, on behalf of Professor Sliff, Christian, Kayla, and all of us here at the University of Cincinnati, this is Justin Jimson wishing you good luck in your search for a college that you can call home and selecting the career path of your dreams. Any further questions, please feel free to contact the university at 556-6000 or for information anytime, just visit our website at www.uc.edu and click on Future Students. Have a nice day everyone. <laughs>